Bonjour, bon matin. Welcome to St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, St. John, North Dakota, the city at the end of the rainbow. Today we celebrate the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. As our prelude, I invite you to join me now to pray the end to us. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, <clears throat> that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our entrance antiphon. See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for his good. Eternal Father, we offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with all the Masses celebrated throughout the world today. For all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our own homes and within our families, amen. This holy sacrifice of the Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Clifford Owen Mothe. And let's begin the sacrifice in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God beside you who have the care of all, that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice, 
Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke to manage. But through you, you are master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us, for power whenever you will attention. And you taught your people by these deeds that those who are just must be kind, and you gave your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. Lord, you are good and forgiving. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my plea. Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds, you alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are a good you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me and have pity on me. Give your strength to your servant. Lord, you are good and forgiving. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groans. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones according to God's will. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, may you be my Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all throughout the wheat and then went home. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. In the words of the Gospel, wash in our sins. This Gospel is one that we're familiar with, and the underlying message is that of mercy and justice. Dear my brothers and sisters, in our humanity, we would like God to fix all the sinful situations that surround us in this world. To pluck out all the weeds. But for reasons only God knows, he allows the weeds to grow alongside the wheat. Jesus told us that God the Father makes his Son rise on the bad and the good. And he causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. So each of us also has weeds in, in the soil of our own hearts. So what can we do about these weeds? In our own field, we can focus on faithfully receiving the sacrament of reconciliation to tame the weeds of our soul. For the weeds in our culture, well, all we can do is pray and to fast, especially for the people who sin and cause others to sin, those who are literally blind to their sinful behaviors. And then we can also console ourselves by remembering that our Lord says that one day there will be no more evil. There will be no more sinfulness or unfairness. Mother Church will not be wounded any longer by sin, stain, self-love that destroy or wound the earthly community. The beatific vision in which God opens himself is in an exhaustible way to the elect, will be the ever-flowing wellspring of happiness. 
In that deep desecration, there will be an incredible peace in mutual communion with each other. We, each of us, baptize our children of the kingdom. And it can be, it, it can be easy to, to, to lose our peace when we think about all the, the sinful behaviors and the outright evil that's happening in our society today. Trusting that God has a plan for all of his creatures can give us the ability to, to react peacefully to the weeds that we see. We can focus on being children of the kingdom by doing God's will and working to, to spread his kingdom here and now. And we practice the, the virtue of prudence when we, we kind of mind our own business and remain focused on cultivating our own good soil. That means we don't pass judgment, we pray in it to seek for the other. And the one thing that we should truly covet is the peace that Jesus bids us at every Mass. My peace I give you, my peace I leave you. And no matter what chaos and confusion or pandemonium is going around, we should never allow any individual or any situation to literally rob us of that God-given peace. Each of us has been created intentionally by God. Unique, precious, and unrepeatable. It's a, an intentional planting that God puts in our hearts. Any gardener will tell you that the rich, loamy soil is not, not immune to weeds. In fact, some pretty hardy weeds can grow in good soil if it's left to take root. And the best defense against weeds are intentional plantings. That is, whatever weeds, sins, and, and vices that we pluck out should be replaced by their opposite virtue. And we can ask God to plant new virtues in our hearts, especially after confession. Those virtues may start out like tiny little mustard seeds, but God can use even the tiny speck of faith to grow them into a, a beautiful reality. With our tending, our watering, and our pruning, the virtues that we strive to cultivate can truly become fruitful just as the mustard plant was, and that it was filled with the birds of the sky. Just imagine for a moment if this story was true. If this story were true, and you were the farmer who worked very hard at sowing the seed throughout your field, then if you awoke to hear the news that weeds had been sown also, you'd be quite sad. You'd be disappointed. And if you were Italian, you'd be very angry. <laughs> but this parable is especially about Jesus. It's about the Son of God. Jesus is the one who has sown the good seed of his word and, and watered that seed with his precious blood. But the evil one, the devil, Satan, Lucifer, Hornhead, has also been at work trying to undermine the work of our Lord from the get-go. And again, if this were a true story about you and I as farmers, it would be hard to refrain from, from much anger and a desire for revenge. But the truth is that Jesus, as the divine sower, doesn't allow the evil one to steal his peace. Instead, he has allowed this particular action of the evil one to remain for now. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, but in the end, the works of evil will be destroyed and burned in the incredible fire of hell. What's also interesting to note is that Jesus does not root out all evil in our world here and now. According to the parable, he refrains so that good fruit of the kingdom will not be negatively affected, that they won't be affected. In other words, the parable reveals to us that interesting truth that the weeds all around us, that is the evil alive within our world, cannot affect our growth in virtue. It cannot affect our entrance into the beatific vision, into God's kingdom. We, as human beings, carrying our cross after Jesus, we will have to endure evil, sometimes on a daily basis, and find ourselves surrounded by it at times. But our Lord's willingness to allow evil for now is a very clear sign that he, he knows it cannot affect our growth in virtue if, that's a big if, if we do not allow it to.
today, privileged that we are to approach this holy altar of sacrifice, to celebrate this holy sacrifice of the Mass, to receive the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus the Christ. Let us reflect today upon the reality of the evil in our world. It is essential that you and I, that we name evil activity for what it is. We have a society that has turned things, I believe it's called Mamashish, upside down. <laughs> That's not the right translation. It works for me. All right. <laughs> Everything good, holy, true, and beautiful is deemed evil. And we who embrace our Catholic faith are seen to be intolerant. And everything that is gross, ugly, and abomination is being elevated as a good. But what evil cannot ultimately affect you, because if we stay under Mary's mental, if we are strengthened through the sacraments, evil cannot affect us. And the evil one, despite his malicious attacks, will ultimately be defeated. In fact, he is defeated. We are working from victory. Jesus rose from the dead once and for all for the salvation of many. It's our choice. Reflect upon the hope that this truth brings and renew your trust in the power of God this very day. He's throwing mud in our face and we just wipe it off and we pray because the doors of mercy are slowly closing, but we have an opportunity to intercede for these lost souls, for the conversion of their hearts, for the salvation of their souls. Because once Jesus comes as just judge, it's too late for them. We are quius deus who are like unto God, those who have consigned themselves to working for Lucifer. Quius deus doesn't resound for them. They are non-serving. They will not serve, they do not believe. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of David, Son of Mary, we come before your throne today. We pray that you deliver us all from the evil one. May we truly be freed from his lies, from his snares, and always keep our eyes fixed upon you, our divine shepherd. We turn to you in all things, dear Jesus. Because, dear Jesus, we truly trust in you. Amen? Benedictamos Domine. I invite you to stand with me now as we profess our faith in God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, unsubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Called to be people of faith and love, we turn to the Father of love with our prayers. That the Church be a sacrament of unity, teaching us to be people of trust, rooted deeply in our faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the servant leaders of our community work to guard the quality of our environment, air, and water, and respect life from natural conception through natural death, and the sanctity of marriage between one man and one woman, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That we be ever mindful of the unemployed and the underemployed, especially during this pandemic, and to assist them with needed services and care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That we may greet the underprivileged and the handicapped, seeing in their face the countenance of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That we guard the sanctity of this Eucharist, always seeing it as our summit and source, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, for those we have promised to pray for, those who have asked for our prayers, those who do pray for us, and for all the special intentions we each hold in the deepest recesses of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord pray. For all our family, friends, and parishioners who are suffering physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. For those who are battling addictions. For those who are recovering from surgeries and those yet to undergo surgery. We pray, you, Lord, send your healing upon Pat Langan, Chad Nadu, Lorraine LaFountain, Warren Gorno Sr., Deacon Emery Mears, Bowden Vandell, Carlene Parisian, Ken and Lori LaRock, James and Marlene McCoy, Connor Zach, George and Nellie Leon, Bruce Parisian, Lonnie Allery, Marlon Warren, Bill Allard, Grace Allard, Brock Keplin, Della Hurt, Mark Robinson, Becky, Becky Boyer, Lori Mano, Judy Laferlita, Judy Rappas, Pat Malico, Phyllis and Mitch Hanna, Richard Plessity, Jim McLean, Miles Hillary Alex, Alexander Trosso, Eleanor Gustafson, Tessie Laframboise, Maxine Gourneau, Albert and Barbara Clark, Delcy Jerome, Crystal Hellickson, Conrad Parisian, Bobby Dunwoody, Bill and Becky Stats, Mary and Jim Polo Madison, Faye Howell, James Finio, Doris Worth, Yolanda Rodriguez, for these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, for those who have died through the night and those who will die this very day, especially those who die a sudden, a violent or an unprepared death, we beg you have mercy on their souls. For all our deceased family, friends, and parishioners, that they may truly rest in your peace. And we beg you, Father God, release every soul in purgatory of these future saints, that they may join you, the Church triumphant in heaven, and thus intercede for us, the Church militant, in this ongoing spiritual battle for the salvation of souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for all those who have are suffering from this pandemic through the COVID-19. I beg your prayers especially for Father John Rooney, for Father Desi Daniels, and for Father Henry Quaylar. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Ruth Clara and for the repose of the soul of a stillborn child, Emily Munchen Peach. For her mother and father, Kamar and Emmett, who grieved her death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember also the repose of the soul of James Larson. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious, loving God, we beg you, bring a swift end to the pandemonium, to the panic and the evil that afflicts our country and our world. You, our God and Father, we beg you to send a healing of mind and soul upon all those who are obsessed, oppressed, and possessed by the demons. Bring them into the light of your truth for the salvation of their souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, ever-loving, living, merciful God and Father, you give life to all people. You bring healing to body, mind, and soul. We beg you today to look with compassion on all those who are threatened by all this evil in the world. Grant in your fatherly providence health to all who are sick in mind, body, and soul. Strengthen Strength and perseverance for all those who are on the front lines of the medical fields, for all our police officers, our military, our first responders, our hospital personnel, for all home caregivers. We ask you to grant peace and security for all of us. And we ask this, not only through the intercession of Jesus, your son, but through Hukum Zainan and Mushum Joko. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Regina Jenny, late again, hallelujah. Qui ha quem meru his deportare, hallelujah. Bres or exit, sit good exit, hallelujah. Ora pro nobis deum. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
through the mysteries of this world and why not for him to share that that in Christ and humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God of all with humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by your Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight as they be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of all of us. For the praise of the Lord of his name, for our good and good bonds of holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all things. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipso mecum ipso et in ipso est tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti in unitate Spiritu Sancti omnis honor et gloria Per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. To say this command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a safe distance sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May they receive me, their body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and bring me to judgment and condemnation. But through your loving mercy, you can need protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Ecce on Newsday. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless of those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should not under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, give me safe for joy. They ate and had their fill, and what they craved the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved.
Father, I need communion. Yeah. delights we pray O Lord that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord Amen. the Lord be with you Amen. please bow your heads for God's blessing may Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness poured upon you the gifts of his blessing Amen. may God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Please join me in our prayer of consecration to the two hearts. Most sacred heart of Jesus, the most immaculate heart of Mary, your one in purpose as you desire the salvation, holiness, and sanctity of each soul. We, the people of the Turtle Mountain, consecrate ourselves and our families to you, seeking your victory both in our hearts and the world. May the river of the Father's divine love and mercy flow through your hearts into our hearts and through our hearts into the world. We acknowledge the perfection of your mercy, the abundance of your provision, and the supreme sovereignty of the Father's divine will. We desire to be part of your triumphant reign through our yes to holy and divine love. We wish with the help of your grace to live out this consecration now and for eternity. Amen. Remember, our most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before thee I stand, simple and sorrowful. A mother of the word incarnate, despise not my petition, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember to pray hard, pray well, pray often. Save souls, don't lose yours in the process, and that was that was that was that was Amen? Amen. All y'all have a God glorious day today. In the back you'll find Dr. God bless him to put together a brochure for the novena of Kokomet. Alright? If you haven't started it, you can play catch up. And if you don't want to read it, that's okay too, because we live stream the prayers each day on our Facebook page as well. Tomorrow night, 7.15, there will be a healing service at St. Benedict in Rural Belfort. Tuesday night, 7.15, healing service here at St. John's. Okay? We'll keep each other in prayer. Also, Thursday night at 6.30, we're going to have kind of an impromptu meeting down in the lower hall because it looks like we might not be able to do a fall supper. So we're thinking about a summer fest out here on the lawn, on the canopies, We'll change the menu around a little bit, and if we can get the technology, maybe bingo under the stars. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Mani Togi go show when make, Ming Witch. May God the Creator bless you. Thank you for joining us. We'll hold each other in prayer. I love you.